All right, way tough to do this crap. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Scotch Plains Family High School. I'm Brian Dempsey here with Kevin Yeager, and we're bringing you the Scotch Plains Raiders versus the Kearney Christian. So we'll uh, be getting into the game soon. Kevin, uh, what do you think about the game? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Raiders played tough against their last team, Colonia. I mean, it was they lost within huh, five seconds in the last game mm -hmm. with a messy turnover. But other than that, I mean, they're looking they're looking strong again. Their three point shooting should help. Although we didn't see it last game, but every other aspect the Raiders have dominated this year, and they actually won against Elizabeth, and that team is was supposed to blow the Raiders out, but you know they're they're looking strong, and I think they'll come up they'll come up with a big victory today. Yeah, certainly a big win against Elizabeth, and I know in the last game I don't know if they were just trying to be a little more. Uh technical or yeah. something just not yeah. loose at all they not weren't uh, making any of their forcing, shots and forcing their shots but uh definitely look definitely looking like the superior team here raiders two and four and carney christian is oh and, and six yeah so it's a tip off both team both players miss. miss it yeah. and we'll have another one ish ish uh ishmael raymond definitely has the height over this guy but uh, i don't know and he <laughs> gets it back <laughs> And Solomon will bring it up the court. We've seen strong uh, games from Solomon so far this season. I'm expecting a big game from Kevin Maroney. I mean, we didn't see him. We saw him in Colonia to make a clutch three-point shot mm. along with the steal to set him up. And uh, man, I'm looking for him to distribute very well today in today's matchup. And you see the missed shot there from Maroney, speaking of. And uh, trying to make something out of nothing there. Throws it against the back of the backboard, so now the Raiders have the ball. The Raiders, again, with this transition basketball. I mean, they, they were down the court very quickly, and, you know, I, I don't know. This In the first two games, they definitely weren't about transition, but it seemed until they played Colonia, they had to pick it up. Yeah, exactly. Raiders got to start making shots because Connie Christian's in uh, – a zone for him, or his own defense. You see the oh. ball tips off of Raymond's hands. Uh, Carney, Carney's in a, a zone defense, so it's gonna be mostly three-point shots we're gonna see from the Raiders in this game. That, that, that shouldn't be a problem for the Raiders. And so we'll see if they can convert. Solomon playing pressure D. Ooh, almost takes the ball right away from him. Again, almost stealing it, but number 12 from Carney, keeping the ball in his possession. Now fadeaway jumper off the mark. Oh, and maybe a small guy in the court by. gets the rebound, tries to go right back yeah, up. Yeah, stuffed. But absolutely stuffed by Raymond and Marcus. Good pass over the heads of uh, three Carney defenders from Solomon. Very quiet today in the Raiders' uh, yeah, stands today. Not, not a lot of people fans. coming out for this 0-6 uh, <laughs> Carney team. Seems like only the cheerleaders are, uh, are allowed today. Yeah. Maroney playing at the top of the key, maybe looking for a drive of some sort. Oh. Another three-point shot misses. Raymond gets the rebound, and he'll look to pass it back out. Ansels to Maroney. Maroney takes a shot, and a travel from Raymond. Raiders look like they're playing a little bit sloppy today. I mean, yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot more relaxed, I'll give them that, but they need, they need to relax, uh, especially against, against these teams. You just got to relax, make the shots, and... Nice strip yeah, by Raymond. I mean, uh, Reggie Solomon. Sorry about that. And Gorgeous layup. strip. Solomon makes it, so it is 2-0 Raiders. First points are on the board in here when five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Looked like a walk there, no call, but the steal Another anyway. Steal. <laughs> now Maroney, drive. Good Ooh. look, can't convert. Gets his own rebound now. And goes up against four Carney defenders. Cannot get it in the hoop, so. Carney pushing it, but they don't look like a very transition team. Not trying to get much out of it. Just throwing the ball at the hoop. Yeah, pretty much. And if it goes in, it goes in. Oh man. Looks from that. Looks like the Raiders are just taking the ball whenever they want. Oh. No. oh. Leave Solomon wide open, but he can't make the shot again. Raiders just missing their three-point shots. I tell you, when they played Roselle Catholic, it was on. I know they every single shot. Every was going shot. Well, you know, then Colonia started dying down. 
And and in Elizabeth, that that was a very small aspect, but it was an aspect. So oh. and a missed layup, but Raymond with the rebound. And Raiders already have, I think, four steals so yeah. far. But but it's a shame that they only have four points because they should be able to capitalize on every. Uh, yeah, they haven't been able to convert with the three pointers or the transition offense. Oh. Good steal oh. from um, Green. Goes up. And Mark just didn't miss that one that I, time. I don't think he noticed there was the defender under him. He just kind of put the ball up in the hoop. and over. Not even a care in the world. Oh, man. And ball bounces and right through, through the legs. legs of number 10. <laughs> I, think the, Carney. I think it turns nutmegged from uh, soccer. Yeah. I mean, I think this game might be uh, a little, <laughs> a little. Um, Unfair, out of hand. Yeah. But uh, let's hope it stays like that, you know? Well, the Raiders need a game like this, especially See? coming out of uh, yeah. 2 and 4. Disappointing, uh, especially since they won state championship last year for their division. Yeah. And at this point, they were not 2 and 4. Yes. They're about probably 6 and 0 oh right now. Yeah. I mean, can't win them every year. And somehow gets it around Raymond. But it goes out of bounds anyway, so it'll be Raider ball. Looks like um, <laughs> bad pass right there, miscommunication. You're seeing a lot of bad passes from, uh, from Carney. I see uh, looks like Boyd will come in for Raymond. Looks like they're taking their big man out, and uh, maybe they're going to try to shoot the ball a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, they need the three-point shooter out there. I was about to say that, actually. Raiders passing very well against his zone defense, which you got to do. Don't let him trap you. The the problem that most teams have when they play down uh, ability with a team, you know, like if they play a team that's not up to their level. A lot of a lot of teams tend to play down yeah. and the uh, the opponent's ability, and that doesn't help you neither nor the other team. And that actually is some of the reasons why you see upsets yeah. in all sports, all sort of sports. Uh, I mean, it, it. you think you have the game in the bag before it even starts, mm. and that's all mental. And if you don't overcome that, then you're in trouble because you'll be in for a rude awakening. So Solomon putting the pressure on still. <laughs> oh, bad oh. pass there, and Hansel oh. comes up with it. Hell of an easy layup here. And oh. he, will, he will jam it, dunks it. And the Raiders up eight nothing here in the first Dunks quarter. Dunks it for little for the fans right there. That was that and was oh oh and a block comes back by Melvin. Oh man, he's all over the court. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is going to be exciting. This is this is and that's great. And a timeout from Carney. Melvin and comes in, comes in, uh, steals the ball, slams it home for the fans, and then blocks it. And gets an assist out of that. That's that's that you can't get much better. I thought than he that. was still on the other side of the court when he blocked that. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was I him. I didn't even know yet. And Colin will take a that 30 second nice. timeout, as most teams will do after uh, a little embarrassing some, something like that happens. I mean, frankly, that was just that was just messed up. <laughs> that was just nice. It's the only words you can use for that. All right, so now they'll resume play now. The crowd's quieted down a little. And Cardinal inbound it. They just put on a, it's like a press zone. Right now with a nice shutout and a nice lead. And almost another steal. And jump ball should go to Carney because the Raiders started the game with. You know, 10 nothing is an easy lead, but to tell you the truth, they should have a lot more than just 10. Yeah, All their missed shots and opportunities. They had a lot of wide open three pointers in this game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like they're running the double team. Yeah, double team uh, zone. And I, I think that might be ma mainly the reasons for all these steals. Yeah, Carney's definitely not oh, very strong man. with the ball so far. Oh. Maroney, great rebound, puts it back up. Good touch. Raiders up 12 nothing. Good so. rebound, but Reggie was wide open. Yeah, you got to make mean. those shots. 
Sometimes those shots are the most nerve-wracking because you Absolutely. think you have to make them. And, and you're, all, you're all by yourself. And nowhere to go. Tries to go right through him and draws the foul. So first foul of the game. Looks like Alcine will come in and Green will come out. Uh, another, but you know, I, I was going to say another small man, but tell you the truth, <laughs> Sneak get almost grabs almost every board <laughs> yes, for yeah. the Raiders, along with Ish, Marcus, and Maroney. Yeah, you know? yeah, well, it's not like Carney's putting up any shots, really. Raiders have been stealing the ball every possession. Somehow getting it around to Boyd, and oh. Boyd knocks down the J. And there's the three point shots that uh, have been working. That was great teamwork right there. And they Nash just yeah. barely even had possession, just tip, fingertipped it to everyone. And the first points go in for Carney, and it is now 15 2. Carney breaks the shutout right now. It's 15 to 2. Let's see. And if, Boyd uh, again just misses. I've seen with the rebound, as you said before, just grabbing every rebound around him. Raiders will start a new offense. All you got to do is pass. They can break this corner defense. Oh, man. Oh, what I'll a see pass. Perfect pass to Maroney. I've seen. On the box. He can shoot, score, <laughs> <laughs> grab boards, and pass, man. He's, he's, got a, he's got a lot. He's got almost every aspect of the game perfect. And throwing up a shot. Misses the tip back. Tries to save it, goes out of bounds, so everybody will take over. You know, I mean, Brandon with that nice three, but uh, as of right now, he looks like he's the only one that could hit one. Yeah. But uh, they have a very comfortable lead. And and once you make uh, the first couple, they just start coming like clockwork. Yeah, absolutely. You're just cold. You can't really practice too much in warm-ups, you know. You only got a certain amount of time. Yeah. Solomon maybe looked for the jumper, but did not. Maroney oh. wide open three, leaving him open. Ah. And just misses again. So Maroney over two from beyond the arc. Alcini pressure defense. Good pick there by number 14, trying to. Oh, wow. And now, oh, no. somehow Hansels comes up with it, and he will lay it up. No jam this time, no but jam. It's still the same amount of points, and that's the end of the first quarter. He made sure he hit his hand against that backward to show yeah. that he could do it any any given time he wanted. <laughs> well, that's another nice steal. So, another gorgeous steal. And that's the Raiders' defense right now. Yes, Stepping now with it up the, in this first half. One quarter gone. Raiders up 19 to 2. We'll be back after this short break. Yeah. Have you ever watched it on Channel 34? All right. Nah. <laughs> and we're back as the Raiders take the, uh, put their five onto the court. With a commanding lead, 19 to two, if yeah, I might so add. 17 points. On a 12-0 run to start off the game. And it looks like Ish is back in the game and uh, Tim Bonacum. Getting his first minutes. I'll cut ya. Maybe trying to get a three-point shooter in. Good pass over to Alcine. Alcine again looking on the other that's, opposite that, box. That's how they scored last time with Kevin. That I think it was that exact same play. Yes. And good uh, cross-court passing. Bonacom wide open. And he comes right into the game. Takes a shot but cannot convert. He'll warm up. He'll warm up. We hope. Yeah, well, it doesn't seem like the Raiders need him right now. All they got to do is play solid D like they've been doing. I'm surprised they're not going to their double team. That was working very well for them. I'd say at least half or even more points are defensive points. And I mean, good job, uh, boy, being patient, waiting for the defense to go by him. And 
Solomon with the steal and slams it off the opponent's foot. Looks like they didn't even realize he took the ball from him until it was out of bounds. This, this Raiders defense is aggressive and right now well played. And I mean, it looks like uh, Raiders are trying to put Brian Dewar in, another sophomore who got his first points in Colonia, you know? Yeah. Trying to maybe another three point shooter, as you said. Mm. But um, I think right now yeah. they sh right now I think they should just work on uh, having control of the ball and just like t uh, just getting the two points here and there. Yeah, well, you got to think that the reason the Raiders are up by so much is just their division. Oh I mean, man! You see Boyd with the steal. Bonacom with the walk. Saw that happening. Uh, as I said, a little nervous. I mean, <laughs> uh, the Raiders play in a watching the conference, uh, conference and. I see Carney does not, so they they get to see a lot better teams than Carney does, and that's got to be one of the reasons why they're playing so Absol tough right now. See, I'll see him with the steal, three on one, four on one, and Carney wow. doesn't even uh, see them shaking their heads. They don't even feel like playing anymore. I think and I, I, a beautiful offensive foul taken from Raymond, and it seems to me that Carney's given up already. <laughs> But I mean, uh, I think right now that they're, they're almost used to the fact that, you know, with an 0 16, I mean, I don't know any of their scores or stuff, but I would assume if they played any team to the same caliber as Scotch Plains, it it, it was a bad it was a bad game. <laughs> well, you know, it seems like Carney has a couple individuals that uh, can deliver, but right now I don't think they are. Well, that's all they are, individuals, really. You just see him catching the ball and shooting. As you see right here, another three-point shot missed. I think they've had more uh, shots on that possession than they've had all game. <laughs> An attempt at a reach-around layup, but <laughs> does not go in. No he foul. Had, he had those long arms. He almost, uh, he almost made that. <laughs> yeah, wingspan is very important. And you see a, a very, rare very. Hail Mary shot being thrown up. About halfway between three point line yeah, and that was line. that was a little unrealistic. <laughs> and see if the coach goes to the three pass rule. No shots to the three passes. I think that's what they need. Almost a rebound by uh to Monicum. Boy putting the pressure on. Wow, great defense. And oh a good back or a good block rather from Boyd from behind. Time that perfectly. And we'll see Nelson come in and Manns also. Carney setting up. Not much of an offense looks like. And Dewar with good defense. Mans with a good steal, and now Raiders on the attack. Boyd, layup opportunity. Oh. Misses, puts it back up, and it goes in. <laughs> Raiders 25 to 2, and they're on 13 0 runs since yeah, the first points were scored. I just realized Matt Mans and Duran Nelson are subbed in. Matt yeah. Mans, a sophomore, I think, just coming off an injury or a sickness. Uh, he was out for a little. And, uh, and Duran Nelson, a junior, came in. Nelson from all the way down the court before. Uh, Carney even passed the half court line. And yeah, Duran, as you see, points there. Came from JV and actually moved up later in the season last year. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, JV players moved up for that state tournament. And there you see uh, another point scored. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was the same guy that scored that point. But yeah. And now scored 27 to 4. So a little glimmer of hope. From Carney with those baskets. Ronnie Fields yeah, now much. in senior. As you see, not the tallest one, but uh, I mean, I play, uh, I played football with him, and he has one. He's got a lot of heart, and he doesn't give up. And I think that's why he's a m multiple athlete yeah. because they see it in him, and he doesn't give up. Yeah, you can't just be talented and be a multiple athlete. You got to work hard. And it's like around the perimeter to Bonacum. Good 
trying to get there. Oh, just too a little too much on and that. Nelson moves over into the box to try to get the rebound. The ball bounces right where he was in the first place. And Fields, some great defense there. Duran giving his man some space. And another good drive from number 23, and Ooh, it looks like he might have hurt himself. You don't want that. He's uh, he's their go-to guy. Yeah, it looks like it. I think he'll be fine. He just needs to walk it off. I think he'll feel a lot better if he makes these two points. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they need everything they, anything they can get. Yeah, coaches aren't happy in games like this if you miss free throws. And the first one indeed goes in. And he got second him. One goes in. So with three minutes left here in the second quarter, Raiders 27, Carney 6. Fields back to Dewar on the perimeter. And Nelson with a good positioning, but looks like yeah, he, he will This guy get travel. used to that footing. <laughs> with the zone press. Looks like they'll back up. And Nelson putting good defense on him, not letting his man by, go by. 23 with a good pass, and they'll have an open shot, but it'll rim out. And Raiders with three men down in the paint, gets the rebound. It just seems like Connie's rushing their shots. As soon as they get it, they feel like they have to put it right up. Yeah, yeah, that's usually what you see when you have a team of five individuals instead of a, a full team ready to run plays and break yeah. down the defense. I, I hear the coach trying to call plays, but it looks like they're not running them. And if they are, they're not working. Mm. Well, I see what happens a lot of times when a team is playing against another team of this difficulty and they're starting to run plays, but they can't pass to the person they want to pass just because the team's defense is so aggressive and the entire play just breaks down. Good pass back to the free throw line and Dewar makes the J. It's like a failed pick looking on the roll. And they'll reset at the top of the key. Good jab step and a fadeaway. Try to bank it in, but he misses it. Now Fields on the on the Bonicum of the great light. Score being 33-6. I mean, it's this is they got a obvious comfort comfort of a lead, but. And going uh, into halftime, Carney's got to get double digits on that board. At least. It's like Carney makes substitution, number 12 for number 10. It is a <sighs> and the take it out a little closer to the hoop. Uh, uh, I mean... Uh, like you said before about the watch on conference, I mean, in football and you know soccer and almost all sports that Scotch Wings plays, watch on conference is one of the hardest conferences in New Jersey, and mm. it's proven and there's stats about it. You know, this isn't just trying to make us sound better. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's and in football, that's one of the reasons why we don't look as good because mm. we play in the watch on conference. I mean, we play teams like Irvington and and Plainfield and a bunch of teams that are ranked in our state. Yeah, yeah, I know. So C2 makes the three. So I think, like you said, that really does help a lot. 
it gets us experience with teams that play better. You don't get better playing worse teams, you get better playing better, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I think that was a foul on Fields. And number 30 will take free throws. Number 23 still limping out there. And you gotta wonder why he's still in the game with the score being what it is. I think they're, uh, they're just trying to keep him in just to get some points on the board. Yeah. But I must say, I gotta give the Carney some credit. I mean, they've made every single foul shot. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm realizing, I mean, they can't get the boards on it in play. Might as well get them when they're free, you know? And uh, lucky bounce there from that free throw. Banks in. And Bonnet come in the corner looking for somebody. Dribbles out to the top. Pass it back to Dewar. And Nelson with a wide open side of the court, but doesn't do anything with it. Dewar with a stutter step crossover and just misses the shot. And then the ball will be thrown down for the end of the half. As Raiders, Raiders going in at halftime, yeah. Up 36 to 8. Dominant lead. Yeah, but you have seen uh, the Carnies only have one foul so far this game, so give them credit for that. And Raiders have five. And uh, we're going to take another break here. We'll come back with second half action. Do I have to? Let's wait till they start coming. Want out. me to do it? No, I got it. If you want to, you can do it. No. <laughs> Just... Hello, we're back here with second half action. Uh, I'm Brian Dempsey here with Kevin Yeager, and we have Raiders versus Carney. Raiders now up 36 to 8, and Carney not a. Uh, not showing any signs of life so far. We'll see if they can pull yeah. something out in the second half. Jaeger, what do you think about this? Uh, pretty much, in a nutshell, Raiders are a better team and came out immediately on top. And I think by the end, they will become very obviously on top. You know what I mean? I R mean risky prediction. I'm not sure. If yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Come <laughs> true. Sent in a. Yeah, I'm sensing a big, big half. But also I'm sensing a lot of younger guys or a lot of guys that don't get many playing time to play some more yeah. after these starters rack up some more points. Usually starters coming out is just a formality. I mean, you always want to see starters come out in the second half. Yeah, and, and although there's not kids that don't play as much, I mean, it's their, all these guys that start right now, it's their senior season. So yeah. every game counts to them. Yeah, but Raiders how bad they're winning. A, a very senior team. And that was Raiders very sloppy. just <laughs> kind of playing keep away here. Maroney driving and goes for the layup and misses. And I'm not quite sure what the call was there. Uh, Do you see what it is? Uh, it's jump ball. Jump ball. Jump so. ball, number 30 grabbed it from Ishmael. And uh, yeah, they give it to Cardi. 
Solomon refusing to let up on defensive side, going after the ball, and that'll that be backcourt. Backcourt violation, I mean, that's when you know <laughs> it's pretty sloppy. Uh, Solomon at the top of the key. And all, there are a lot of open shots in this nice game. You drive, see him passing though. up a lot of them. That was a very nice drive by Maroney. I mean, he finished with his own layup, but yeah. that was a very, very nice drive. You see the Vaders just passing up open shot after open shot. That's when you know that you're just looking for the easiest opportunity possible. I mean, in that Colonia game, I'm sure they would have been uh, thanking God for one of those shots. Please. I mean, they to lose... I mean, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I mean, to lose within the last five seconds, like, it, it was by point seconds, yes. by a turnover. They called a timeout, and Coach, coached it perfectly. I mean, called a timeout when it's in their zone with nine seconds left and got a messy turnover. I mean, it's just upsetting, <laughs> tell the truth. And after a very weird play, yeah, not I, quite sure I if that was, that was a walk or not, and a sloppy pass from there. Vader's take over, and we should be seeing some substitutions in the next minute or so. Yeah. Uh, it's always nice to, uh, to play a game like this just to get the morale back. Also to work on the fu fundamentals, the mechanics. Yeah. As you see, Reggie was at the three-point line, three line and stepped in because he realized he was a little off today. And he's trying to work it back, and that was a very smart play by Reggie. Yeah. It's not like he needs to uh, drain a three in a yeah, game like this. Raiders. Now quintupled. Carney score. And you see a timeout. I'm not sure who, the, who called timeout, but it be 30 seconds. Yeah, I believe that was Carney. And I saw a lot of the crowd empty out during halftime. See, yeah, still yeah. a decent amount here. Yeah, there's, I mean, if you want to compare it to the Colonia game to this game, I mean, <laughs> they'd just laugh at, at me if I compared it. Because Colonia, I could barely hear you talk, Brian, yeah, sitting no, right next no. to me. And now I can hear every word you're saying and half the people in front of me in the stands what they're saying. <laughs> I mean, it is quiet. Maroney trying to drive, passes it out. A shot from Hansel's misses. And I see a 23 as a drive here. Steps back, no That's shot. Nice. nice handle, that was a nice move right there. Didn't get him anywhere, but it was nice. And number 14 throws the ball up, doesn't go in. Seeing some passing here from Carney. Trying to break down the Raiders' uh, very aggressive defense. Hansel's wide open, and Green was trying to uh, spin, and Jeez. he's uh, ridiculous. Did not need that right there. Uh, that's how you get someone hurt, and you never want that in a game. Marcus uh, is a pretty big guy going this. against uh, a little guard, number 12. I mean, you know how that one's coming out defensively. Mm hmm. It looked like he was a little frustrated with his uh, offensive performance on the last possession. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ansel's tight D. Nowhere to go. No steal. And a missed layup. Saves it. No, the referee's going to call it out of bounds, and that will be Carney Ball. Looks like Bonham comes back in there. And maybe trying to get some more experience there. Air ball. Green rebounds, passes it up the court, and Carney jogging back. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Another nice, nice rebound by Shanique. Too bad they couldn't capitalize, but that was a very nice rebound. That yeah, might have had something to do with the fact that half of Carney's team was back on the other side of the court. 
true. That, that might have the little deal, or a little factor in that. Bonacom trying to pass it in. And Boyd up the court. Bonacom wide open on the wing. Choose not to go to him. It's like Boyd's looking for an ISO, and he gets it. Uh, no but basket. they're gonna call a foul on the f on the floor. On the floor, yeah, for the shot. A uh, push or reach. And my guess right here is they're gonna do that play where they pass it around the perimeter. I know they choose to restart their offense, bring it back to the top of the key. And you know, a lot of the a lot of um, main factors for the Raiders are. Hold on, sorry. I just want to see if Brandon made that shot. <laughs> I was about to change my whole conversation because I said, like, I think the main factors that I think um, for the Raiders are Solomon, Boyd, and uh, I think Maroney. Mm. And as I see, Melvin plays good now. Hansel's, um, so they, they they really haven't, they, they, they've stood out, you know, Melvin especially in the last half, but Mm. Raiders seem like they're just playing. They're not really tr like you know putting tons of effort into it. They're just shooting. I see a bunch of them laughing, you know, having a good time because of the score. But if they play any other team, that's maybe not as not as bad as this team and can give them a game, and they settle for that relaxation. I mean, yeah, that might bite them because I know it's bitten our team in football many times against a you know, really humble playing field team or something like that. And Hansel's with the missed shot. Rebound from Green. Back to Bonacum. And the Raiders have yet, have uh, not put up any points for quite some time now. Oh, boy, looking for Green, but Green was already trying to rebound a uh, potential shot. Seems like a little miscommunication down low, up top, pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Right there. See some substitutions. Looks like Dewar and Nelson will come in for Hansels and Boyd. Hansels had, having a great season, by the way. I mean, last year he played a little on JV in the beginning of the season, and then he came up, didn't really play that much on, uh, on varsity. But this year he's definitely been one of the best players starting uh, every game so far. And it's putting up points on the board. I'll see him in a good rebound, looking for a layup, and gets it. Now that I'm thinking, uh, I'll see him, uh, he came from Elizabeth. So with the game, uh, with the game beating Elizabeth, that might have been a little exciting for him. Maybe if he was yeah, one of the Yeah, he had factors. to enjoy that one more yeah. than most of the other people on the team. I mean, that's, when you move from and then play them, that's like our Westfield Scotch Plains thing, man. Mm. We're hometowns, we're right next to each other. Yeah. So the, 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 my, you might have a little little envy there. And you get to play all your old buddies and everything. Yeah. And it's always fun to see. Good drive there by number 14. He's, he looks like another key factor on the team besides yeah. number 23. I, I think 14 and uh, 23 are the main factors with a little bit of 12 because he handles the ball a lot. But uh, I think that's all they have. And, I, and um, if that's their full potential, I don't see Carney going anywhere. Because mm. they're not even playing, you know, well, that well, in some, my opinion. Some schools like to concentrate on basketball. Some schools like to concentrate on academics. And maybe their GPA is a little higher than ours. Who knows? Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. But it's always good to find your niche. And with a minute left here in the third quarter, Raiders 44 and Carney 8. Nelson with the fake pass and the shot rims out. Green, strong rebound, Great puts rebound. it back up. That was a very, very nice play by Marcus Green. And coming over the back of his defender to get the rebound, putting the ball right back up. Brute strength. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and a good tip by Dewar trying to get the ball back, and he does. Oh. And looking, oh, wow, LC and the dunk. That was vertical. 
That was the vertical jump. He got up vertically. Oh, wow, with uh, no type of beginning, he just sort of jumped up and put the ball in the hoop. I think he... Uh, and that ball will not get off in time. As the clock comes down to zero, Raiders up 48. Uh, that was, that was a good to way eight. to end uh, one of the few uh, coming down to the end of the game. That's one way to end it. And it's a good way to end what some may call a fairly boring quarter. I, they scored four points. Yeah. No, six points. No, four. All right, so. Before fourth quarter starts, we're going to take a short break. You're watching Scotch Plains Television. We'll be right back. Here with fourth quarter action, Carney inbounding the ball. Looks and like they made a, a decent amount of substitutions here. As I see, Matt Manns, Denzel Clark, a junior, uh, making his played first JV last year. Minutes in the game. And Anthony Scalfaro. So the Raiders with their second string in. Passing it back to Dewar. Open shot, just misses. Now a good chance for Carney to put up a couple points. Wow. Nice defensive play by Denzel Clark. Number 12 with a shot. Air good ball. defense by Scott Farrow to get his hand up. And now Scott Farrow in the corner. Clark wide open. Didn't get to him in time. And it's like a passing and cut. And <laughs> taking offense. it to the top of the key. Nice pick right there. Yeah, it looks like the Raiders are trying to do like a pass and cut to the basket kind of thing. So that would bring a center up to the top of the key every once in a while. I believe he called a moving pick. Oh, and really? Set his feet and uh, got him out of there. Now, Carney looking for an open shot. Good crossover by 23. Oh, and, and a good, uh, good intent to get it into the box. But that was a good pass. Looks like his teammate wasn't even expecting it, so no points put up on that possession. And let's see if they're going to get the ball back. Ball pass in the corner. Ray's doing a good job of covering the entire court. Oh, and Mance with a huge man. block, which will leave Clark with an open layup. And uh, this smacks it back to the opposite side of the court Jeez. on that one. Woke me up a little bit. I know. And every once in a while, the Raiders have done something amazing in this game. Just when you think the game's pretty much over, they just do something to wake you up. Good pass into the paint and just throws it up. So now Clark looking for Powett, who's in the game now. Didn't see him come in, but a great layup. I don't know how he got it up there. And Powett with his first points of the game. Yeah, I mean, another steal. This is just, <laughs> this is just <laughs> not much to say. Not much to say. And Clark with a good layup, and now a second string team putting up more points than the first string. Looking for a backdoor cut. He'll just shoot it and misses. Oh, almost got the rebound. Oh. 
Pass into the corner, looking for a drive. And a, a good shot, but misses. So, Carney has yet to put double digits up. We'll hope that they can do that by the end of the game. They have not scored in this half so far. Fields. Looking for somebody here at the yeah. top of the key. 54 to eight. The Raiders are dominating. I mean, oh, and I didn't even see number 44, Alfred Pawid, who was on JV last year, moved up this year, is in. But I mean, 54 to eight. Uh, you know, the old saying, it's not over till it's over, but. <laughs> And uh, walk. So we're ready to take over. Clark bringing the ball up the court. Fields on the wing. Oh, looking for Clark wide open on the box, but couldn't get it to him. No defense being put on the Raiders by Carney. Feel that they're free to dribble the ball as they please. Pick from Mans. Back to Power at the top of the key. He said before, big man top. And there's some defense being put on by number 23. Now Power, they look to. Uh, Take a step, make, make a drive happen, but Raiders look maybe just uh, run the clock out. Howard with a drive and makes a layup, so. Wow. Howard, four points in this game. Wow, that was nice. But yeah, uh, that was a very nice play right there. And steal from Ronnie, and he'll have the easy layup. He'll make it. Raiders have a uh, set two pulled. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how you call it. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm lost. I stopped after double. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in the first five minutes of the game. <laughs> yeah. And good block again by Mans. I mean, don't know where the foul was there. And they'll call it on Scalfaro. Was he in the play? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed that too. I'm not even sure how they called the foul. Yeah, all I saw was Powell and Mans, but maybe he uh, sneaked a reaching foul in there somewhere. Again, I might want to add like, <laughs> although the Carney team is getting killed. They have not missed a three-point <laughs> shot. Yeah, it's now true. Now that I'm thinking about it, they have not missed one. Five so, for five so far today. Yeah. And we'll and see if they can get more double than digits here. For the first time in the game. Only time in the game, rather. And yeah. they do. So Carney now puts up double digits on the board. Carney breaks the single-digit marker right here <laughs> with three minutes left in the half. So maybe now that that pressure is relieved, they can start coming back. Man, it's good pass into the corner, looking for Clark. And pass over to Powid with the jumper. Misses. So, Carney bringing it up. Two and a half minutes left in this game. 58-10 Raiders. Raiders looking like a zone formation now. Yeah. It almost looks like Carney is, I mean, number one, uh, has, uh, I'd say, freshman or sophomore on the team. 
looking at him, I mean, he looks a little young. Mm. So maybe that's one of the other reasons why Carney doesn't have a lot of older guys. Yeah, maybe in a couple of years they'll be a little more experienced or something. Maybe. Just come Play back. a game in this watch on conference. Yeah. <laughs> what conference are they in? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm they, to think. They're a private school, so. Carney, what are they, Carney Central? They're Carney Catholic. Carney Catholic. Oh, I thought they were Central. Oh, wow. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a nice move by Ronnie Fields. Oh, Clark, wide open jumper. A oh. good pass into Mans, oh, but Matt Mans. can't oh, put Matt it up. And that's that was a, foul. a gorgeous pass by Denzel. Tricked me. I thought he was going up for it. Yeah, it looked like a shot until Matt Mans put his hands on it. <laughs> Mans sinks the free throw. Uh, have both teams made all their free throws so far? I'm not sure if Raiders have made all of theirs. I think they did, actually. Yeah, I can't remember a miss. And there hey, it is again. It's a lot better than their Colonia game. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> but uh, a lot better than their Colonia game. I mean, I think they made, what, a total of four? Yeah, that wasn't a very good free throw game. Oh, little two-on-one action. And a nice layup by Clark. And Raider coach has got to be looking at his young guys here, showing up the first string a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty. That was nice. As you saw, Denzel went in for the steal again, <laughs> swiping his arm. Got a lot of air there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he came away with it next time. Yeah, he's got a quick hand on defense. It was Feet. important for it's pretty quick. fourth quarter well teams. Ronnie. Physically, they both look the same but yeah they exactly. both play with heart you know yeah and that's know. gonna get them somewhere the missed layup Scott Farrell comes down with the board Fields gives it off to Scott Farrell he gives it to Clark in a great crossover looking a lot like Solomon's crossover in that game I'm not quite sure if anyone saw that one, but uh, just broke the kid's ankles. Did he really? I... And that clock will wind down to zero. So at the end of the game, it's Raiders 62 and Carney 14. Raiders uh, dominating the entire Every game. Every aspect. Yeah, come out, 12-0 run. Carney scores, and then they come out with another 13-0 run. So Carney couldn't hope for much after that. And they just coasted until the, the final buzzer. So. Anything to say about it, really? Yeah, from from the first minute, I knew the game was going to be uh, upset.